Hello and welcome to another episode of Advanced WordPress Theme Development. In the previous video we learned about registering the block patterns and in this video we are going to learn about how to remove the default block patterns that is provided to you by WordPress when you install WordPress 5.5 version and uh, also we are going to learn about how to register the categories. Okay, so let's start if you want to remove the block patterns that is provided to you by WordPress well it's pretty simple to be honest all you have to do is just go to your functions.php or, or wherever your, you have your theme set up so make sure you have this add action hook it to after setup theme and then inside of this you can come down over here and you can say remove the core block patterns and that's it you say remove theme support core block patterns and that's it that's about it and now if you go and refresh and now if you click on the plus sign patterns voila all the core blocks are gone <laughs> isn't that simple I mean we thought that it's gonna be like so much of work but it is that simple awesome so now my website looks clean because this is my theme and, and I don't want the uh, core block patterns, I don't want to make use of them, I can just you you know remove them like so. And also if you want to know where these are registered, what you can do is you can look at the core, maybe you can search register block pattern, you come in over here inside of WP includes block patterns, okay, and then you hit it there you go so you can see that WordPress registers the block patterns over here so you had the so you had the text two columns uh, you had two buttons images a large header three buttons quote all of that so it's just looping through and registering these block patterns so their names are like core slash and whatever these names are it's just looping that and registering it and then it's also requiring the block patterns file for each one of them okay and then it's also registering the category for each one of them. So for buttons, it's putting them in buttons, for columns, gallery, and so on. Okay, so just wanted to sh give you like a walkthrough of where these are registered. And there is also a class called, I'm just going to show it to you one second, WP Block Patterns Category. So this is the uh, class responsible for the block patterns category registry. There's another class. Okay, so then there is another class called WP Block Patterns Registry. So this is the one responsible for the block patterns registry. So you can see that you've got the title, you've got the content, yeah. Um, you have the unregister function, yep. Get registered. So you can dig in uh, through this. This is the function that we were actually using: register block pattern to register the block patterns right so you can see it takes pattern name and then the pattern properties um, awesome great so just wanted to show it to you I hope that's clear to you right so in the next video we are going to talk about the how to go ahead and add categories for the block patterns so I'm gonna see you in the next video I hope you did like the video if you did please give a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel if you aren't already and if you want to get the code for this repository, you can go to Imran H. Sayed Aquila and please star my repository to support my work and do follow me on GitHub. So I'm going to see you in the next video. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.